Hello. Hi. Good morning. All right, what we've got going on today, we're going to do these little guys here, these three guys. And the color that I picked, I'm, in my mind, I thought it was a bit more brown. Um, but it's more kind of orangish looking, but I think it's still going to work. Finally get to watch a live. So I've got 369 with the star and then 360. So it's going to be like a light brown and a dark brown. And we're going to use the light brown for the bottoms and dark brown for the tops. Woo! I almost just threw it. And I've done these before. Um, little acorns like this. And normally I'll do a satin stitch on the bottom, like up and down, and then uh, a, a padded satin stitch on the top. But I want to do fantastic. Fantastic. We have this again. This is my favorite. Poor connection. Oh. it's going to be one of those days. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, but this time I'm going to try and do a split stitch on the bottom to do a bit of texture and then the padded satin stitch over top. And that way you can make your padded satin stitch go vertically if you want to or horizontally if you want to. So it'll be totally up to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the split stitch on the bottom. If you want to try a different stitch on the bottom, of course you can. We've learned a bunch of stitches so far. But I thought maybe I'd jazz it up so we don't have to do satin stitch, satin stitch, satin stitch. Because um, we just did a three-quarter satin stitch here. We did a bunch of it on this day. And then we did a bunch of it for the leaves. And I have a feeling we're going to have to do it for the, the grapes too. So I thought let's mix it up a bit with a split stitch. I just turned everything off in the whole house. So hopefully that's the answer. I'm going to try three strands. Let's just see if that works. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, split stitch, just the same as this. You can work it in a straight line up and down if you want to, or you can do a little, a bit of a curve. If you want to make it look like the uh, acorns curved, you know, you can do it vertical, which is up and down or horizontal, which is sideways. Um, you could even make it, which is what I'm going to do, but you could even make it look a bit 3D by putting a bit of a curve down. So this one, we kind of just went straight up and down. Yeah. And then this one, we kind of went around the sides just to kind of make it look round this way but you can also make it look round by going the other way and that's like this so we're gonna make down like this and that's just gonna give it a little bit of like make it look like a sphere almost yeah I'll zoom in so you can see but let's just try let's just see I feel like uh, this is a really good lesson in stitch direction because it can really impact how your overall piece looks just by changing the stitch direction. So split stitch, three strands, three, six, nine, star. Here we go. So with this one, we're just going to be really careful on the edges. And this is also a time where if you want to, which I would recommend, it's a bit too big, um, change the outside shape if you don't like the outside shape. Meaning that if you traced it a little bit wonky or if you're like, I just think it should be like a little bit more plump. Like you want the acorns to be not so like thin and skinny like that. You want them to be more round. This is a great time to change that before you get started. So hopefully this works. We'll just have to see. 
But guys, we made it to Friday. Can you believe it? We've done two full weeks. So this is two full weeks of stitching. Two full weeks. Yes, Jamie, how are you feeling today? Sarah asked. So I can't take credit for that. But I'll say it out loud so everyone knows. <laughs> Two full weeks. Um, and actually, I almost have the next stitch along done. I just have to color it in because I don't like giving you guys um, the pattern with no suggested colors. Like, even if there's no color numbers, at least you kind of know what might happen, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I have the next stitch along almost done. It might be finished today, we'll see. And then I'm hoping it can start the 8th of November. So that's in a little over two weeks. Which I think is plenty of time. And there'll be another just three weeks. Another three weeks stitch along, not a four week stitch along. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll show it to you in a little bit after we do the first part of this. If you would like to see, I'll show it to you. But it's the fireplace one that I showed a little bit ago. Um, I just have to redraw... There's like a pair of boots next to the fire, like drawing by the fire. And I think it looks really cute, but I just drew them like off the top of my head. I like didn't even look at a pair of boots. And so they, <laughs> they look really weird. Oh, Jamie's replied. Let's see if she's feeling better. She ignored feeling poorly yesterday and went out for a bottomless brunch. Bad idea. Connection. Poor connection. Good. Can't work out if I feel worse because I'm poorly still or because I've been up for hours cleaning the house and doing chores after a night out. Oh, I bet you had fun though. I would kill for a bottomless brunch. I haven't had a brunch like that in forever. Like not just because I'm pregnant, but because I genuinely haven't gone to a bottomless brunch in a long time. Okay, I feel like this is looking really nice. I like it. I like the curve of it. I like I can work in lines if I want to, like straight lines going around. Um, you can also work these vertically, like I said earlier, if you want to just go straight up and down. Um, like we did with the pumpkin, just straight up and down, bam, 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 done. So this is kind of adding a little bit of dimension in it. and Hopefully it'll make them look a little bit more 3D. And then we are going to do a padded satin stitch right on the top. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Mel says the stitch alongs definitely make the time go faster. Do you know what? They really do. And I feel like for me, they give me a bit of um, like structure to the day. Like it sounds so weird, but like I wake up and have my breakfast, have a coffee. Sometimes I'll order a coffee from Starbucks if I'm. If I know I have a lot of stuff to do or if we're out of coffee. <laughs> um, and yeah, I like kind of try and figure out what we should work on. Like what part we should do that day. Um, sometimes I'll like try new stitches if I'm like, do you know what? Let's just try something else. Like I don't feel like doing that. Let's do something else. Um or I'll pack orders right in the morning so that they're all done and I have the whole day after the stitch along to just like, I don't want to say chill because that's not what happens. <laughs> I wish I could chill. <laughs> but I have the whole day after the stitch along to like make new products or like do other stuff, you know? And then, um, yeah, it's like such a nice, like I really enjoy it. And then when I don't have it, when I don't have like the stitch long in the daytime, like in the morning, I just feel like, 
I just don't know where the day goes. <laughs> okay, so obviously what you're going to want to do is fill all these at the same time, okay? But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do this one, and then I'm going to do the padded satin stitch on top so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll go back to, and do the other ones, okay? So let's just see here if I want to make this a little... A little wider maybe because it almost looks like this guy's got a real big acorn top could have just left it definitely missed some comments here sounds like a great morning jamie she said it was great but now i'm sat in bed with two hot water bottles and a ton of blankets oh i'm gonna come join you <laughs> just like a chill uh, I like having the stitch long set out for me to do after I finish work. Something to look forward to. Yes. And, like, I love seeing everyone's work and see what they did. Like, I know this one's a little bit different because everyone pretty much has the same colors. Um, but a lot of times with the stitch alongs, we all have different colors. So it's fun to see, like, what colors people chose or if they chose the same stitches as me or not. Or if they did something a little bit wild and crazy. That's pretty good. Okay, I like that. So we've got split stitch, three strands. Knew I had it not back there. I just knew it. So now we're going to do the padded satin stitch. And the padded satin stitch is where you fill the area with a stitch first. And then you do the satin stitch over top of it. Now, I like to fill it with a chain stitch because it's a little bit chunky. And it makes you have uh, a bit more raised up off the fabric where um, sometimes people like to use a seed stitch, which is just a bunch of random stitches. Looks like this. Like confetti. Okay. And then they stitch over top of that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that. I feel like it doesn't give a lot of padding. Um... So I like the chain stitch because it's more, well, it's more padded, like I said. So the first thing you need to do is figure out which way you want your satin stitch. And that's the last thing that you're going to see. Because remember, we're doing stitches underneath. So it doesn't matter what these look like. We're just using them for padding. And then the ones on the top, they're going to lay over top of it. Um, and then that's going to be like your, what you actually see. Okay? So... First, you need to figure out what direction you want your satin stitch to go. Do you want them to be up and down vertical like this or sideways horizontal like this? So I'm going to pick up and down vertical for my final satin stitch, which means that the stitches underneath are going to go the opposite way. So I'm going to do a chain stitch in rows sideways. Okay. And I think I'm going to do three strands for this too. Just so that I could probably do four. But I'll do four. I'll make it nice and poofy. Come on. Get it. Let's get it out. It's so quiet with no music or anything. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, gosh. Just me. One of my friends was sending me voice notes yesterday morning and she was making her breakfast. She had toast and all I could hear was like the butter scraping on the toast. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really would like some toast. So I had toast this morning. And ever since my belly has been like, wah, 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 like making noises. Talk to me about that. Okay, that's good. like I've been wanting the toast for so long and now I have it and my belly's like nah didn't want that good morning Haley it's early for you oh and Mel just said good morning too sorry my hoop fell out of the thing okay deep breaths Veronica says my tummy does that all the time <laughs> oh gosh 
Okay, so we're going to do chain stitch sideways. Yeah? So you, you don't have to do it like super neat and nice or anything like that. We're just going to do, or you could do it around in a circle if you want. It, it's up to you. But remember, we kind of want it to be different than, and they can be quite big as well. They don't have to be so small because we're not going to see them. Um, we just want it to be a different direction than the final chain stitch or final satin stitch. So this is going to be the padding. They all don't have to be even. Now I want toast. Haley says the dogs got me up. Oh my goodness. Pepper or Peyton? Or do, do they work together? Do they work together to... Like if one gets up, does the other one get up? Just woke up and now I want toast and more my... <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh. I don't know what this poor connection thing is. Team effort. And then Peyton jumps out of bed. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? I think that's what the, um, the dogs are like in Toledo. One of them gets up and if one of them gets up then the other one's like. So we've already done the chain stitch before. We just did it yesterday. So this is the exact same concept, except I'm just making them big. You're right over there. Hi, George. We're just making them large. Do I want to put one here? Nah. I'll do the cap just regular, you know, not not raised up. Happy weekend. Yeah, they're going on a golf weekend this weekend. So I'm sure that all the boys are excited. Well, it's just tomorrow and Sunday. Every morning between one and five and then goes back to sleep while I have to remain up for the day. Huh. Yep. That's Rusty and Cooper. The dog, the Toledo dogs. All right, I'm going to do one little one here. I thought you guys can hear my stomach. It's like, please, please, more. Sorry. So I'm just filling this in. I'm not doing an, any kind of, just making sure that I go horizontal. I know it's a bit dark, so you can't see so well. Um, this is kind of the boring part of the padded satin stitch, but it gives a nice effect. And it saves you from having to go over the same spot, like over and over and over and over, because you can get the same effect with a padded satin stitch, by just using more strands and going over the same spot again and again and again. Um, but oftentimes that won't be uniform, meaning that some areas will be higher than others. Some areas will be thicker than others. So this is a really nice way to get it kind of all almost the same. So I've got my chain stitch. I almost said split stitch, but it's chain stitch. Okay. And now we're going to lay the satin stitch over the top of this. And this is where we're going to pay attention to the outside edge. Okay. So don't, if you've got a space here, don't put it really close on this side. You're going to want to go to the outside edge and continue that shape. Okay. Um, what else? Tips and tricks. I'm trying to think. Like I said, it's hard when you can't see so well. 
because of the dark color. Okay, so I like to go down the middle, like you know. And wherever you put these, this is gonna be the shape of your final, of your final acorn top. Head, top. Do they have names? Crown, cap. I'll just make it up myself. Okay, I probably need one in between there. Yeah, because you can totally see that they're not right next to each other. So I'm using the same four strands that I used for the cap. Yeah. <laughs> for the chain stitch. And we're just doing a nice satin stitch over top. So pay attention to the outline of the actual shape and not necessarily where you put your chain stitches because sometimes I'll go a bit crazy in the middle with the chain stitches and then when I go to cover it I actually don't cover it properly because I'm going on the edge of the chain stitches instead of I'm looking for there it is I can put this on there and maybe you can see it a little bit better the stitches. I don't know why, but that like makes the exposure lighter. Gosh, it's just all going on today. We've got the internet issues. We've got my stomach being like, no. Can't see the thread. Falling apart, guys. Maybe I shouldn't do another stitch along. <laughs> Maybe everything's telling me, stop it. <laughs> oh. Guys, I can't stay away. I can't stay away. And so we've just got these tiny little ones on the edge here. Okay. Cute. Now we'll do the other side. And then I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> Mel says, hush that. <laughs> oh. And I'm not doing the thread saver satin stitch. I'm just trying to make these nice and smooth. I'll put it back on in a minute. This is my way. And if you need to, you can always go um, with the split stitch a little bit higher than you think you will. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if you feel like maybe it won't cover as much. So you can always bring the split stitch up a little bit farther into the acorn cap, cup, hat, helmet, whatever you want to call it. And then... Um, and do you know what? I'm going to make David message Sky and have them send out a booster thing. I think you, you can get them free. You just have to pay for postage. I'm getting one and I'm going to put it out here and I'm going to put one upstairs because in the baby's room, there's no, like barely any internet, like nothing will load or anything. So yeah, I'm doing that. This is so cute though, this little acorn. I feel like I much prefer this way than the way we did before. Um, I'll show you that real quick because I've got it here. So the way we did before was this way. We did a satin stitch straight down. Heading back to bed until my alarm goes off, but it was fun to catch a few minutes. Bye Tori and Mel and everyone. Enjoy your sleep, have a good sleep. So last time we went sideways, horizontal, we did a regular satin stitch on the bottom. And I feel like I like this way a lot better. This looks cuter. I like that. So there you go. I'm almost finished here. And then I'll kind of turn the hoop sideways. You can see how 
Oh, Veronica just Googled, and the top of it is called a cupule. 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 I can't even get my leaves and my petals straight, so I don't think I'm going to remember that. <laughs> oh, Tori. Just keeping it interesting, you know? Okay, maybe one more stitch, maybe two. We'll see. Cupule. I don't feel like I need to write that down because I feel like that's a good... Yeah, just one more here because we need to cover... We need to cover all of these stitches on the side. So you can't really tell, but you can still see there's a little, there's a little stitch there. Cup is easier. <laughs> Why does it keep falling out? I'm telling you, man. Nothing is cooperating today. It's like... I'm determined. You cannot slow me down. Okay, how cute is that? Let me just do a little knot and then we'll put the black. I'm pretty sure that was a pudding cup. Like a, like for camembert or something or like a, um, a hot cheese dish or something like that. So there we go. You can see that. Oh, I didn't do the cap. Oh, didn't do the little top. I'll do that in a minute. Um, so you can see all the stitches here are straight down. These ones here are round like this. Okay. And it comes off the fabric. So it's actually humped up like that because we have the chain stitches underneath. Okay. I was going to say the padding, but then I was like, do you know what? I should call it what the, the stitch I used just in case. So yeah. That's what we've got. So now you can go on and do the other ones. Um, here we go. I've just got a little bit of this left, so I'm just going to do a couple little. Now, if you want to do these stems the other way to make them look a little bit different, you can, or you can make them um, the same direction. So if you want to make them horizontal, which is this way, I feel like I always have to see the difference because... Sometimes I feel like people just forget that kind of stuff, you know? And this is also where if you don't like the shape of them, change it. You don't have to stitch what I've drawn and you don't have to stitch what you've traced. So if you find that like actually you don't like how it looks or how, you know, how I've drawn it or whatever, then just change it. Just make sure you change it before you start stitching. Um that area because I find that if I stitch it wonky, no, sorry, if I draw it wonky, I'll stitch it wonky. And then I'm stuck with whatever I've got just because after I draw it, I kind of don't think about it anymore, which is not, probably not a good, probably not a good thing. Just needed another pause there just to liven things up. Well, that's quite cute. I like that. Okay, so now we can go back and do... How's it been 30 minutes already? You've got to be kidding me. Now we can go back and do the other ones. So I'm just going to do about 10 more minutes of stitching. I like to keep it about 40 minutes. And then you're on your own, y'all. We've just got these three little guys to do today. Looks so good. Thank you. Monday is Monday ist ish ist Friday. Sneak peek. Yes, I will get do you know what I'll do that right now because I have the iPad just just over yonder. So let's zoom out on the chair. I've got a new chair to stitch in. I haven't sat in it yet. I've been trying to soften up the sofa. You guys know how I feel about the sofa. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put all my efforts into that. Um, let's see. I do not want to update. Leave me alone. Do you hate it when you go on there and then it just starts doing it and you're like, no. Okay. 
Are you ready? This is what I've got. Ooh. So we've got a little fire here. We've got a rug. I don't know about the rug. I don't know what stitch I'm going to use, but I want to do some kind of detail in the middle, whether it be checkers or maybe some more um, battlement couching or maybe some base stitch. I don't know. Something fun here. And then this here actually has a bunch of little like pine needles on it. But for tracing wise, it's better to just do the lines. So if you can follow, we've got We've got the lines here that come off. Oops, I'm actually drawing on, on there. Let's just go like that. Oh, I've already reached 19 layers. Hold on. Let me delete one. <laughs> this is story of my life. Too many layers. Okay, here we go. Okay, so if you can follow, these here are for the tree. Yeah, like that. These coming off like that. Do you know what I mean? I know it's a little bit confusing sometimes to follow the drawings. But then we've also got a, I'll put a different color. We'll do like yellow. Maybe you can see that. Then we've also got a string of like lights or popcorn or something. I feel like it's going to be lights. And then that will go like this. Yeah. And then these branches are all going to have like, do you know what I mean? So they're going to be like super full. But to trace this <laughs> like this um, was really chaotic when I tried the first time. So I figured I'll try and make it a little bit simple. And then when you guys trace it, you know what I mean? It will look like that, <laughs> kind of, hopefully. And then I drew some boots here. I'll put the boots back on. But I don't like how they look. I think they look not nice. <laughs> so I need to redraw those. But I think it could be really fun. So we could do like some needle painting, some thread painting for the fire, just for the fire part. And then um, some weaving over here. We've got some logs in the Barbie boots. Yeah, don't they just look really bad? So this is what happens, you see, when you go and draw certain things is that you start with your drawing. Um, let's see here. So if I turn off all of these... Bye. Okay, you start with your drawing of the fireplace. That's what I drew first. And then you start to add little things. Like, do I want to add a, a hearth? You know what I mean? Like a, what's that? Not hearth. That's this part, right? Stop it. Uh, <sighs> reconnecting. Or do I want to add like a chair somewhere? Then I said, no, I don't want a chair. Let's take that off. And then I decided let's do, where's the chair? There we go. Let's do um, like a basket of something and some boots. And then maybe we can do, I think I deleted it actually, the rectangle, the rectangle. Yeah, I had a rectangle rug first. Say rectangle again, Tori. I had a rectangle rug first and I thought, well, maybe something, maybe something else, maybe a round one because we've got so many straight lines here, you know? to have more straight lines. And plus we already did a rug that's very similar to this. So I thought, well, maybe let's do a round rug. So there's the round rug drawing. So yeah, this is probably super boring, but that's kind of how it happens. And I put everything on a different layer so that if I don't like it, I can just take it off. Um, so this one is the stockings and that's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, you can see the little dots that's going to be lights or something maybe. Um, and I drew some wood in there. And then I thought we could do these fun, these fun um, stars. Ooh, let's turn that back on. Yeah. And I thought they would be cute if we did like a satin stitch, like in different directions. Like that. That could be super cute. You know, or we could do something else. You never know. So, yeah. And then I decided, well, we need some something up here because it's a bit sparse. So let's do that. So again, this might change here. Stop it. This might change here. It's just kind of like a placeholder, really. 
um, something a little bit more festive, maybe on the top. Stop it. On the top there. But we'll see. This is kind of the idea. And then when everything's finished, meaning like if I like it, if I like how it looks, um, then I have to trace over the whole thing. So we kind of take, well, I turn all of them down and then I bring back all the things. Is that it? Oh, there's one more because I've got little things here. Where is it? There we go. Yeah? And then I trace it so that you can trace it really easy. So you can see all the lines really clearly. Yeah? So it's nearly finished. I feel like I just need something else for the boots. Um, just because when they're not there, it just looks a little blank like I'll have to redraw it I'll have to redraw this you know what I mean but it just looks a little blank there so I need something else yeah so I had a candle or a um what are they called I have one of them over here actually lantern you know those things that you stick candles in Ooh, a present maybe a present could be fun I had one of these on the top, but it looked really weird. It didn't look like this. It looked different. Maybe I'll try this again. So I just put something on there to have something on there. But I feel like I should change that because we've already done a vase before. Um, we could do a little lantern. Maybe we could put some presents on the bottom. Yeah, maybe we should do some presents. Santa boots, furry top. Ooh, that could be fun. Maybe three little presents like in a... Yeah, I just, I wasn't loving the boots. You know, when you're just like, they're a good idea, but I don't love them. You know, I don't love them. So, yeah, we could do some presents down here. Let's clear that off. Excuse me, got burp again. We could do like some. Something like that, but like bigger. Maybe like a, a tall one in the back instead of like that. Maybe with a bow on it. Or something. Some little presents instead. A presents and a gnome, maybe an angel. Yeah, I don't like the boots. This needs to go too. This here needs to go as well. So maybe that can be like the lantern thing again. It just looks a bit um like confusing. Do you know what I mean? When you put it on there like that. Yeah. A poinsettia would be Christmassy. Ooh, poinsettia. Maybe that should be up there instead with like big red leaves. Um, I mean, uh, big red petals. Yeah, like I said petals and they're quite um they could be like a low pot with like a bunch of things here you know what I mean like that a bit bigger but putting a candle in the lantern a jar of candy canes oh my gosh you guys have so many good ideas we should do this we should do a live where we just design a stitch along <laughs> and, just, and just keep it like that you know what I mean that could be so fun. Do you know what? Maybe we could put little candy canes on here. With like the whipped back stitch. You know? Like that. Like hanging on there. So yeah, that's the idea. And then if you want to, you can change the banner to be something else. It doesn't have to say home. It could say something else. Um, you don't have to put the little footies on these little guys here. You can like change that and make it something else. You can make them plain. You can make them any color you want. Um, so yeah, that's the whole idea of the 
of the uh, the next stitch along. So hopefully, if I make the changes, then I can list it today because I feel like that's that's enough time. You know, if we start on the 8th of November, that could be really fun. It'll just be for three weeks, so it'll go until the 26th, maybe? 26th of November? My four-year-old just shouted candy canes. I almost fell from my chair. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like, yes, candy canes. I love it. So yeah, so that's the plan. We'll see. So I guess I'm not going to stitch any more of this. But make sure you do all three, because that's what we were supposed to do today <laughs> before I got carried away per usual. Um, but yeah, we don't have a video tomorrow. We do not have a video on Sunday. Um, but we will have a video Monday to Friday next week. Remember, Wednesday, I have an appointment, so it's going to be later in the day. The live will be later, maybe like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. Um, and then Friday, exactly the same. Um, one o'clock or two o'clock. So Wednesday and Friday, the lives will be later. Don't come at 10, come at one or two. Um, and I'll put a reminder up next week and everything, but I just want to keep saying it because I know that I'll either I'll forget or you'll forget. <laughs> and then we'll be like, where are you? So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. And if you're not caught up, don't worry. Don't stress. I'm also Poor connection is killing me, man. I'm also not caught up, okay? I still have a bunch of stuff to do. I still have day two's sunflower to do or three or whatever it was. Um, so in the pumpkin, like I have so much stuff to do still. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. And don't feel like you have to catch up by by Monday or even by next Friday, and actually, the things that we have left, we have a details day, we have the grapes, we have the corn, we have the cornucopia, um, and that will bring us all the way until Thursday. Then we have French knots, which can be filled all the way in the middle here, here, um, in the middle in these little places as well. If you want to add them, it's completely up to you. Um, those can be added in later too. So there's nothing that you have to get done so that you can continue stitching, if that makes sense. Okay? So, don't stress out. Make sure you tag me at The Barbie Fox, because I love seeing your work. And tag Anchor as well. They've been sharing um, some hoops on their grid and in their stories. So, that's super exciting. And, yeah, I'm going to go... I've got a phone call at 11, I think. And then I'm going to go and sort out the presents. Maybe some candy canes. Um, and maybe a lantern, maybe one of these lantern things, you know, that could be fun up there with a candle in or something, or maybe just a big candle. You know, it's hard because you don't want to just fill it with things that you have to satin stitch because then that's just another day of satin stitch and some people don't like it. I'm trying to get more followers, not lose y'all. Um, so yeah, enjoy your weekend. I hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, and tag your grid photos and your stories with hashtag TheBarmyFoxSAL, hashtag Anchor Crafts, hashtag Anchor Crafting, hashtag Anchor Threads. Any of those are fantastic. And obviously I'll be sharing throughout the whole weekend. So enjoy enjoy your weekend and I'll speak with you on Monday. All right. Bye.